Dear all, in this lecture video, I will be discussing the technical details of peak voltmeter. The peak voltmeter is also known as Chubb and Fortescue method. This method is mainly used to measure the peak value of high voltage AC. This method is suggested by one of the scientists, Chubb and Fortescue, in the year of 1930. You can measure the peak value up to 1 kV directly. That's a peculiarity of this method. As you know that the peak value will be responsible for breakdown of dielectric material. So, the, by using this method, it is possible to measure peak value directly. So, that's a speciality of the peak voltmeter or you can call Chubb and Fortescue method. Now, let me ask one question. What is the purpose of using peak voltmeter? I will tell you the answer. In general, if the applied voltage is sinusoidal, you are applying sinusoidal voltage. If the applied voltage is sinusoidal, then you can write Vr is equal to Vr is equal to Vm divided by root 2, where Vr is known as RMS value and Vm is known as peak value. This Vr can be measured with the help of voltmeter. From this, you can calculate. Vm is equal to root 2 into Vrms. This satisfies only for sinusoidal voltage. If the applied voltage is not sinusoidal, this method fails. This method fails if the applied voltage is not sinusoidal. For such situation, you need a separate device which is used to measure the peak value of high voltage AC. So, let us discuss peak voltmeter step by step. So, that is the importance of peak voltmeter and why peak voltmeter is needed. First, let us discuss the constructional details of peak voltmeter. First of all, you have to observe the diagram, circuit diagram corresponding to peak voltmeter. So, we are having a point where you are going to apply high voltage. Our target is to measure the peak value of high voltage. This point you have to take care. Now you can see one charging capacitor C. C stands for charging capacitor. Now you can observe D1 and D2. D1 and D2 both are diodes. It is made up of silicon. So by using D1 and D2 we can construct one diode rectifier. Similarly you can observe one protective device. P stands for protective device. Then by using a moving coil ammeter, you can measure the current over here. This one stands for a current meter or you can call ammeter. It is basically a moving coil ammeter. Moving coil. MC ammeter. MC ammeter. The device is completely connected to ground. There is a ground. Suitable grounding is provided. Then from this diagram, if you look at that, the capacitor that will be connected series to the entire device. The capacitor that is connected series to the entire device. That can be observed over here. So this is the constructional details of peak voltmeter. Now let me explain how does peak voltmeter operate. Working can be explained very easily. First of all, you are applying high voltage over here. This point you are applying high voltage. My target is to measure the peak value of high voltage. The peak value of high voltage AC has to be measured. Whenever you are applying high voltage, the charging current will be generated through the capacitor. So there will be generation of charging current. It can be denoted by the letter IC, charging current. Later, the charging current will be rectified with the help of this diode D1 and D2. D1 and D2 that forms a diode rectifier. So charging current will be rectified. The rectified current will be measured with the help of this ammeter.
you are able to measure the rectified current you please note down the value of rectified current you need to note down the value of rectified current i now let us consider one relation so the peak value vm that can be written as the total current into impedance of the circuit set stand for impedance it is expressed in terms of o the unit is actually o i the value of current is in terms of ampere all right now this can be written as current into what is the total impedance over here so we need to consider the impedance of all the elements basically the major role of impedance that is generated with the help of capacitance due to capacitor there will be certain amount of impedance that we can call xc x is nothing but capacitive reactance that is also expressed in terms of o regarding diodes diode will offer very less amount of resistance that is negligibly small so now you need to consider the the resistance which is offered by other components only you can consider the resistance which is offered by the capacitor that is known as capacitive reactance as you can as you know that the capacitive reactance that can be written as 1 by c omega x is nothing but 1 by c omega or else current into 1 by c into what is omega omega is nothing but angular frequency it can be written as in terms of supply frequency that is 2 pi f or else this term can be combined i divided by c into 2 pi f so vm can be written as i divided by c into 2 pi f from this relation we can say that vm is directly proportional to i so we can remember this relation between vm and i vm is nothing but the peak value of high voltage ac where this current i is nothing but the rectified value of current rectified current i is nothing but the rectified current so i will be purely dc okay so the peak value we can say that the peak value of high voltage ac that is directly proportional to rectified current i so how much you are applying the peak value that can be measured in terms of rectified current i so this is the relation between peak value of high voltage ac and the rectified current now you can observe the waveform of peak voltmeter so there are two waves you can observe waveform number 1 and waveform number 2 the waveform number 1 that is corresponding to charging current or displacement current ic is nothing but ic of t so ic of t you can call either charging current or you can call displacement current in terms of ampere this is a capacitive circuit therefore current leads by the voltage current will be always leading behind the voltage or else you can call the voltage lags behind the current so this is the voltage this voltage lags behind the current that you can observe directly here the value of current that will be starting from the origin but here there is a phase shift so we can say the voltage is lagging behind the current so this is the peculiarity of uh, the peak voltmeter basically this is a capacitive circuit so that uh, there is a relation between current and voltage the voltage will be always lagging behind the current that you can observe on the way, uh, observe from the waveforms as i have shown the waveform is purely sinusoidal but the practically we can say that you won't get that much of perfect waveforms there will be always fluctuation in now let's talk about the manufacturer of peak voltmeter many manufacturers are available uh, this company used to produce bulk amount of a uh, peak voltmeter various variety various technically specified voltmeter will be produced by this company uh, you can observe the website of that particular company you can directly google it high volt high volt.com and they used to produce a uh, peak voltmeter in different series that i observed mu17 and mu18 mu18 mu17 and mu18 kindly go through the data sheet of that particular voltmeter you will be getting lot more specification regarding the peak voltmeter okay so these are the different varieties they used to manufacture mu17 and mu18 now let's discuss pros and cons of peak voltmeter looking at the pros it is quite accurate it is one of the accurate device moreover it can be used for calibration of other measuring device i mean 
it can be used for extension range of other meters that's a peculiarity of peak voltmeter by looking at the cons or the drawbacks of the peak voltmeter the first drawback is non uniform current waveform you can look at the waveform over here earlier we have drawn in a sinusoidal waveform that is actually ideal ideal case by considering the practical situation the waveform as you can see this is actually non uniform moreover there are lot of oscillations or fluctuations will be taken place over the waveform that you can directly observe over here by considering practical situation uh, your waveform will not be uniform there will be lot of variations that reduce some kind of uh, fluctuations so that reduce some kind of accuracy anyway however it is accurate but uh, these fluctuations will be affecting the accuracy these are the main cons of peak voltmeter let me conclude the session we have discussed peak voltmeter is a direct method of measurement of the peak value of high voltage ac that is why we will be mainly using for the peak voltmeter and we are familiar the construction details of the peak voltmeter what are the main components which are assembled in peak voltmeter then how does peak voltmeter operate that point also we have also we have discussed and we derived one expression the v up the peak value of high voltage ac that is directly proportional to the rectified current i thereafter we have listed out the various pros and cons related to peak voltmeter thank you for watching this video please share and don't forget to subscribe